you've gone back and been able to watch the tape. How do you feel like your defense did considering three quarterbacks, multiple formations, different packages, quarterbacks in on the same drive? Everything that's going on. I thought um, I thought there was a lot of precise execution, um, discipline um, for a good part of the game, and uh, you know, as wide as the widest, the deepest, the deepest. There was a few exceptions, and uh, they do a great job at manipulating you. Um, and uh, thank goodness we had you know, a long time to prepare for. Them. They can give you a lot, and uh, but really pleased with you know, our uh, effort, and just overall execution, and just how hard they played, how hard they competed, and uh, you know for a lot of guys that, that was their first start, they really played disciplined, and that's just not that's not normal and, uh, for the first time uh, starters uh, typically as consistent as they were. Fourteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Did 14, 14 tackles for loss exceed your expectations, or did you think you guys uh, could get the I don't ever really go time? in and think that there has to be a, a barometer um, for how well we played. Obviously, I think you're, you're playing well, you're playing aggressive, uh, you're playing good technique uh, when you're playing on their side of the line scrimmage. And we want to, uh, we preach that as a philosophy. Um, you know, don't play in your, nobody wants to play in their own backyard. You always want to go in the neighbor's backyard and play, right? And uh, when you are, it's just a lot more fun. And uh, so that's kind of Dan Brooks' way to sell it to his guys and jump the fence and go play in their yard. So uh, I think that, you know, looking back now, that's indicative of, of, uh, of you know, really knowing what to do and uh, trusting each other and again, playing aggressive and attacking uh, the opponent. If you're not having success, you're going to, you know, you're not going to have, you know, those, those stats to, to, uh, to back it up and to validate, you know, a good performance. So, really happy though. Again, for, for as many new parts as there were in the front seven, in particular, uh, to to have, um, I do think that's reflective of guys uh, really feeling confident about knowing what to do. You talked about that second to last hail mary. Um, probably didn't have the guys in the position he wanted, but uh, Jadar made it. Really good play on the ball, and uh, also talk about Jadar game in general. Other than that, that yeah, we, we obviously we you know, didn't do a very good job, you know, preparing those guys for. Uh, for I don't know if we, you know, we probably caught off guard and they were getting to the end zone on that particular play, I'm thinking that they're going you know, to throw some kind of a mid-level route. And uh, but that being said, that's that's not the position you want to be in uh, in that situation. So could have probably uh, have managed the entirety of that that drive. Probably would have tweaked a few things. And, uh, yeah, but I didn't think that we we practiced that drive. Uh, not this week per se, but this situation a few times in fall camp. And really felt like fundamentally, um, I think some guys tried to do things that we did not execute very well with the calls that were there. And uh, we had some real fundamental basic breakdowns. And uh, that's not to say they wouldn't have had the same result, but we did some things that, uh, that we can't do. And how we were playing a couple of schemes, um, uh, we, we did a poor job of execution. So we, we got to definitely uh, clean some of those things up. So. Yeah.